Gareth, I'd now like to uncouple the unit from the trailer, move the trailer forward and reverse it to the left hand side of the trailer. Any questions? No. Carry on. First thing I'm going to do is use the pneumonic lettering black. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the other side, I'm going to put the trailer brake on. It is located here and it's the red pull to park. I'm now going to wind the legs down. I'm going to wind them back one so the legs aren't on the floor when I dis disconnect the unit from the trailer. This is how we do it at Mantra. It's not always the case. Wherever you work, you might do it slightly different. correctly legs are down and wind back one I'm now going to go to the um, airlines disconnect the air and the electric line safely I'm going to open the wind deflector safely three points of contact and I'm going to dis the airlines disconnect the airlines and electrics nearest working away a classic one so first of all On this one it lines up, find where it's located, push and I'm going to keep some pressure on so it doesn't, I don't let go of it. again here, keep the pressure on, stow that away safely, again get off the truck, three points of contact and I'm going to close this wind deflector up because when I'm reversing back I need to be able to see both sides of the trailer. I'm going to go around the other side So we've got the fifth wheel, which is the, there's two handles and clips on here. The fifth wheel handle is the bigger one and we've got a clip on there located underneath. Take the clip out, which is the C from the mnemonic term black. And then I'm going to pull the handle away from me. is open now. I'm going to get back into the vehicle, pull away slowly and park it parallel. Okay Darren, I'd now like you to couple up the unit to the trailer on the left hand side. Treat the trailer like it's the first time you've seen the trailer and make the trailer safe to go on the road. Any questions? No. Nope. Carry on. Thank you. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk to the back of the unit to make sure that the actual kingpin lock is open. The back of the lock's open, so I'm now going to get in the vehicle, present it slightly short of the trailer. I'm going to put my hazards and lights on 
sometimes in, in, in working yards, they ask you, you have to do that. At Mantra, we're putting them on, uh, preparing ourselves for the uncle, uh, for the, putting the airlines back in. Three points of contact. around to the other side now and the first thing that I'm going to do is check the trailer brake it is a must uh, a scenario could be where we back to back trailers in the yard and you come to a couple don't check the brakes and somebody's going to get hurt so again I'm going to check the trailer brakes on pull to park and now I'm going to make a visual check to make sure there is no lock on the kingpin, which is free. The next check I'm going to make is, I'm going to make sure that the fifth wheel is higher than the trailer. Which it is, the trailer now, the runner rails are going to pick the trailer up, we know we're okay. I'm now going to reverse underneath, make sure I make the connection, I'm going to do two shunts forward. tag that spells black and we're going to do that backwards so first thing is I'm going to put check the kingpin handle um, sometimes the handle doesn't quite go in we've got to get that clip on so I'm not putting my hand in the handle and pulling it I'm just it's a visual check I'm just making sure it's in Handles in, clip. He's on, go around the other side, put the airlines on. on furthest away working towards me. I need a bit of pressure on here so I'm going to put the weight behind it. Pull it back, push and twist. Try not to get any of the lines crossed. Same again here, put a bit of weight behind it. 
locate the twist, get back down off the vehicle safely. I'm now going to wind the legs back up. Finally, I'm going to push the brake, trailer brake, so that is off. And then I will say to the examiner, at this point, I would do a 360 walk round. Could you check my rear lights, please? So at this point, I'm going to do the rear lights. At this point, I'm going to check my indicators and my brake lights. Could you check them for me, please? Yes. And that's the end of the uncouple and the recouple. You uncouple and recouple the trailer to DVSA standard 2023. So normally the reverse exercise you get 45 minutes on C4C. Should take about 10 minutes with the reverse, 20 minutes with the uncouple and recouple.